welcome to the show, Nancy Cartwright. <laughs> Now, a lot of people are probably aware of the fact that uh, Bart Simpson is voiced by a woman. But are there still people who get surprised when they meet you and, and find out uh, that you are Bart for the first time? I'm stunned. Yeah, I'm actually stunned when people don't know that the voice of Bart really is a chick, you know? <laughs> I say, yeah, I'm Bart Simpson, man. Who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> now, most people uh, might not be aware of the fact that you, you didn't actually audition for Bart initially, did you? Right, no. Um, I'd like to say about 3,000 of us auditioned, but I went in originally for the voice of Lisa, and um, the script was right there, and I saw a picture of Lisa Simpson in the description, you know, eight years old middle child, and then right next to it was this audition piece for Bart. Now, I want to get a poll of the audience. If you guys had a choice between being Lisa Simpson or Bart Simpson, how many of you would want to be Bart Simpson? Yeah. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> Absolutely. So the fact that uh, you, you've got one of the most famous voices in the world that you can create, do you use that to your advantage uh, on any occasion? Well... Do you give people a bit of Bart from time to time? Yeah, I, I find that sometimes um, he comes in kind of handy. And since I kind of carry him around with me wherever I go, yeah, I, I, I don't do it as much now as I used to do. 15, 14 years ago, but I still do have a little bit of fun. In fact, when I was here, um, when I was here, <laughs> you still am here. <laughs> no, I was out, uh, a friend of mine and I, uh, we, were, we were starved, we had just gotten off the plane, and uh, we were really, really hungry and uh, needed to get something to eat, so we went down to the, the waterfront, and there was this restaurant there, they had just closed about 20 minutes earlier, and you know, it's like shamelessly, I can utilize you know, the fact that I'm Bart Simpson by saying, you know, are you a fan? Are you a Simpsons fan? Which is a total non sequitur. has nothing to do with food. <laughs> he's like, yeah, of course I am. I said, well, hi, I'm Bart Simpson. What's happening, man? The guy's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Come step this way, you know? But didn't you use that as also when you uh, visited Buckingham Palace as well? Oh, yeah. This was... Uh, <laughs> this is a good one. It wasn't. It was near Buckingham Palace. It wasn't exactly, but it's same same thing. The guys are standing there with the the, the tall hats on. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it, but well, it's like, just the guards. Yeah, the guard, and he was you know very handsome and just like doing what he was supposed to do and totally on post and just unshakable. And I went up, stood beside him. He was quite tall anyway, and I kind of looked at him and I'm like, "Are you a Simpsons fan?" And he's just frozen. I said. What's happening, man? I'm Bart Simpson, dude. His knees buckled. <laughs> he was down. <laughs> like, oh my God! I started to walk away. Miss Cartwright, Miss Cartwright. He's like chasing after me. <laughs> pretty wild. That's pretty good. Now, uh, you do other voices as well. I mean, uh, apart from people like uh, Chucky from Rugrats, that yeah. you do as well. But yeah. uh, as far as the Simpsons goes, what other characters in Springfield do you do that people might not know? Well, uh, I do. Should I challenge you? You tell me who these characters are. Should I put oh, you on okay, the spot? Yeah, row? okay. Huh? No, hit me with it. Okay, who's this? Two words, okay? Ha ha! Nelson Monks. Very good, very good. Okay. Uh, yeah. The thing about Huckleberries is once you've had fresh, you'll never go back to canned. It's the same guy, but... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also do, see, there's, I'm not sure if I'm Rod or I'm Todd. Oh, yes. But it's like, because I've done, I think I've done Todd about 135 times, and I've done Rod. These are the Flanders boys. Yes, yes, the Christian study boys <laughs> next door. Remember when they were playing, uh, they were playing a video game, and, and Bart's like, Oh, oh, you got him. You, you got him. No, you just clipped him. You made him a Unitarian. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what's the voice? What's, what's the voice of the character you get asked to do the most? I think that must be Ralph. <laughs> Ralph Wiggum. Ralph Wiggum. A perennial favorite. Yeah. I'm Idaho. <laughs> Ralph is, I, I don't know, I, I love him so much, but they just sort of stick him in any scene because he's such a non sequitur mm. in life. You know, they just plug him in. He's like, my cat's breath smells like cat food. <laughs> oh, he, there's a leprechaun. He makes me burn things. <laughs> Now, it must be absolutely uh, tremendous when you get together as a group because do you record a lot of the show together? I know often yep. 
uh, when people record their voices for any kind of animated show or feature film, that often the performers aren't in the same room. But that's right. not always the case with you guys, is it? Well, we try to make it be that way. I mean, ideally, it would be wonderful if we were always together all the time. But the nature of voiceovers, you, you know, I could be here and still they could, I could literally phone it in, you know. <laughs> but it's best when we do it. It's the best show. If you ever come to Los Angeles, I'll give you a front row seat. I promise. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I owe you. I really yeah, owe let's you. Go. I'll, but I'll it's the best. Go. It's really, really good because we do the table read and everybody, there's about 100 people in the room and usually the actors are all there and if they're not there, they're on an intercom in the center of the table and we'll hear, you know, Hank Azaria was recently um, at the West End playing sexual per perversity in Chicago and he was just kind of coming through a box. But, yeah, it's good. Oh, and <laughs> you know what I mean. I know exactly boy. what you mean. <laughs> When you've had Julie and Clary on first, things can be get mixed up quite easily. Uh, now, do you also find that um, uh, when the celebrities come in, because that's the other big part of The Simpsons, yeah. you must get starstruck, like when someone like a Michael Jackson uh, comes in to record for the show. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah he produced Do the Bart Man. That was so long ago. God, it seems another lifetime yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was uh, series one or two. That, Something yeah, that like was in done. 90... When did that come out? 92, I think, Do the Bart Man. But, yeah, he did that, and... He actually, he was on with the 300 pound white crazy guy, yeah. right? Um, he did the voice. He didn't do the singing, but he actually did the voice for the character. Um, but working with Meryl Streep, that was amazing. And most of, the, most of the celebrities we don't get to work with because their schedules don't coordinate with ours. Mm. But I worked with Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, that must be freaky out, freak, freak him out when Bart Simpson's got the hots for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting, getting some trouble there. <laughs>